Welcome to our lecture online. Sometimes they give us exercises that are something in the skies. For example, when you look at this, you go, oh wow, I need to really multiply this out. I have two trinomials that I need to multiply, but actually they're binomials in the skies. For example, if you think of this as a single term, we simply have the difference and the sum of two binomials that are identical in any other way. So again, it looks exactly like what we have over here, and it doesn't matter if it's a negative positive or positive negative here, it makes no difference. So again, when we have the sum and the difference of two binomials that otherwise are exactly the same, this is then written as the first term squared minus the second term squared. So here we're going to do the same thing, thinking of this as being just a single term. And if we apply the same rule, that this would be equal to the first term squared, minus the second term squared. Now the only thing left to do is to take that binomial, b plus c, and square it. So this would then become a squared minus, and let's put in brackets, this would be the first term squared plus the last term squared plus twice the product of the two, that would be two times bc. Like this, and then we could remove the parentheses and apply the negative sign to every term inside. So this could be written as a squared minus b squared minus 2bc and minus c squared. And that would be the result of that one. Again, a whole lot easier when you recognize it to be the same thing as that. Now what if we have b minus c instead of b plus c? Well, there's just a slight difference, but the approach would still be the same. It would be a squared minus the second term squared, again, when we think of this as a single term, and so this would be b minus c quantity squared. And then if that happens, and let me put a line here so we don't confuse ourselves. So then you would multiply that binomial squared, and so this would become equal to a squared minus is the first term squared, b squared, the last term squared, that would be c squared, and it would be a plus because not negative c times negative c is a plus c squared, and it's twice the product of the two, which would be a minus 2b times c. And then when we apply the negative sign to that, this would be a squared minus b squared plus 2bc and minus c squared. And notice the only difference between this and this is that this is a minus here and that's a plus there. But notice how much easier it is to do that than to multiply them out because then you would end up with nine products and then you would have to combine like terms. It's a whole lot easier to do it like this. And that's how it's done.